financial overhaul. How are our four families doing? NBC 15 all this fall is partnering with Summit Credit Union to help four area families revamp their finances and whoever makes the biggest gains is eligible for a $10,000 grand prize. Team Fahey had a rough week this past week and back with us today are Justin and Emily Fahey. Also joining them today is Renee Calloway. She is the transportation planner and ride share coordinator. We're going to be talking with her in just a few minutes here, but first of all, okay, give me the scoop. What happened? Well, we just had kind of a rough, uh, a rough couple weeks here with uh, uh, both of us getting real busy with work, and then uh, there was um, some flu in the family too that went around each of us, and and uh, um, busy with all that and tired with chasing everything, uh, just uh, lost track of our um, our actual budget and staying on top of the the money with that. Did you get a little behind? Um, yeah, to some extent. Yep. Um, and then uh, we ended up uh, having money moved into different spots, and then it uh, got too low in one area and had to keep transferring from. Yeah, from another account, you got to so. stay on top of it. I know you've really been working with your financial counselor mm -hmm. on all of this. One of the big areas, and I want to get into this because this is a pretty big discussion, that you have been really trying to look at saving, and poor Emily doesn't have a microphone on, she doesn't have much of a voice today, but <laughs> is, is your commute to work. You both drive, you have a 45 minute commute, you're about a half hour, yep, just um, about you live in Lodi, and you both drive separately. So you're spending how much on gas? And uh, we, yeah, we have it figured combined uh, with the gas and parking, um, and we average a little over six hundred dollars or so a month. Um, Each? Uh, uh, no, for, for okay, uh, yep, combined. Yep, okay, combined. Sorry. Yeah, it ends up being uh, like one hundred and thirty or so for her parking, and uh, usually averages like five hundred for the for the gas alone. When you so. look at that, what do you what do you think? Uh, wow. Yeah, we can, yeah, there's not, <laughs> yeah, not much we can think about it. It's uh, it's uh, what upsetting, you need to but do. it is what it is. Yeah. You know, a Wisconsin rideshare van goes through your neighborhood, and so mm -hmm. you've been thinking: Is this really an option? This is where Renee comes in. Renee, how much money can families? Okay, first of all, is getting in a van and and going without your own vehicle, where you can't run errands and do all that stuff, is that really realistic for a busy young family? It is. I think it's like many of their financial goals. It's difficult at first, but you get a habit going and then you know how to plan your day um, so that you can maybe run some of your errands downtown or near work or you just plan better. And then we also have a guaranteed ride home program so that if someone has, like their children get sick, I know they have little kids, if they have to go home to the daycare, they can actually get a guaranteed ride home. It's a voucher for a taxi so that they're not stuck because that's a big fear, especially for people with little kids. Okay, we're running out of time really quick, but I want to get to this. We have this graphic. You gave us a graphic that essentially showed, this is on average, a 28 mile round trip. If you are traveling in your car alone, that 28 miles each way every day, $3,640 a year. Carpool, 1820 that's with two people. With three people, the price goes down. The van pool, if this is something you guys could do, your expense would go down to $780 for a year? Yes, for so a year. So significant savings. Mm -hmm. If you could do it, are you going to give it a try? Oh, yeah. Yep, yeah. it's certainly something we're going to look at and, and uh, yeah, probably try, I think, if... if uh, everything pans out it sounds like it, it does their thing all right well we're going to follow up with you on that renee thanks for coming in we'll have to look more at the ride share program because i'm sure a lot of families out there probably have very similar questions so thank you all for coming in today good luck getting and staying on track we're going to take a final look at your forecast after the break nbc 15 news is